Hey everyone, we're going to do a past loved ones reading, okay, anybody that you guys are missing, um, if you guys are wanting, like asking for um, signs for a past loved one, this could be your reading. It says, I'm helping you through this journey, so your past loved ones are with you, guiding you, helping you through whatever it is that you guys are going through. It says, there's nothing that you could have done to try to change, just get rid of the guilt, the guilt and the sadness. So this person that's past, maybe you guys wish that things went different. Differently. Maybe you guys are like wishing that you were there or wishing you said your last, you know, say what you really wanted to say. Um, you know, I feel like you guys might hold some type of guilt or some type of sadness that is keeping you guys from being able to move forward. It says, please forgive me. I wasn't sure of how to show my love. Please understand. So, like, maybe this person wasn't somebody who showed much affection, or maybe they weren't somebody who showed enough affection as much as they wanted to. Maybe they feel like they, they should have uh, showed you more love. Um, they like to play tricks and move stuff around your house. Um, if you keep on, like, let's say you put down your keys or your glasses or whatever, and it's like you turn around and it's not there, that's your ancestor, sorry, your past loved ones messing with you, okay? It could also be your ancestor since I said that. Show your true self and your true colors. You might be holding yourself back or not putting your real self out there. I feel like you're keeping yourself in a box. They don't want you to do that anymore. They want you to release everything and show yourself to, to the world. Don't keep yourself you know, um, hidden away or stuck, um, whatever it is that you are feeling like you can't push through, ask them to help you and they will. It says, I can be seen as lights flickering, shadows, orbs, cold air, warm air. You have unblocked your heart, learn to love again. It's such a good feeling. And even though you weren't with me, I still heard everything that you said to me. Remember, this is a general reading. Not all messages are going to resonate. Um, but even if you're speaking to this person now, let's say, like, and you think they don't hear you, they hear everything that you're saying to them, okay? It says, I'm sending you blessings and messages. Look out for signs, okay? Um, you have exchanging gifts. It's like maybe they're passing their wisdom, their knowledge, their whatever down to you. They could have taught you some things here. I feel like you helped this person. This person helped you. Um, you have deep knowing and breathe. So it's like you guys are very, very strongly connected to this person. Maybe even psychically. You may even be able to talk to this person in your dreams. You may have known that this person was going to pass or maybe you've always had a bad feeling about this person passing with the deep knowing card. Only take what resonates for you guys. You have breathe. They want you to breathe and relax, okay? Go take some time out to yourself. Stop uh, being all in this negative mindset or this sadness or this stuck energy. Whatever this is that isn't moving, they want you to like breathe, relax, take some time away, clear your mind, and just take some time to yourself. A leg up. They're, they're here trying to help you. They're also showing you people's true colors at the moment. So you might be going through a tough time. Okay, with the zebra, he's wearing giraffe skin and it's like coming off chaos and conflict. Your um, past loved ones are here through your struggles, helping you try to open up your eyes to see things for what you weren't able to see them before. Okay. Noticing things differently. You have conspiracy. Yeah, there could be lies. They're helping bring out these lies, these liars, these people. You have poise. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness too, okay? Um, so if there was lies surfacing around you or whatever the case may be, conspiracy, they are bringing um, turmoil. This could be something that's really driving you crazy. There could be people lying about you or lying about what you've done. You have couples. So this could be two people that's lying on you or maybe a relationship um, party. It's like this person's starting bullshit for no reason. I feel like you're going to be able to figure out who this person is pretty soon because their true colors are going to show. Maybe you already know who this is. I feel like your past loved ones do not want you to interact with this person. You have competition. Yeah, somebody's trying to win at all costs. That's why you're, um, they're protecting you so much. That's why they're helping you through this. You have financially using you. You might have people around you who are using you. This could be two people. This person follows the crowd, okay? They don't want you to do that. They want you to be the leader. They don't want you to keep on falling back and doing things for other people all the time if they don't do it for you, okay? You need to be the leader. You got somebody that's running back to you, all right? Lo you're loyal. They're not. Wow, unconditional love and running back to you. 
like literally your ancestors are helping somebody open up their eyes okay or helping somebody to come back to you okay somebody keeps on putting somebody in harm's way okay i don't know if you guys are worried but there might be some lies or some things that you guys um some person that starts a lot of drama queen a lot of drama there could be a drama queen around here there could be people lying about this unconditional love Okay, this person that's coming back to you, there could be lies, but, you know, listen, whether it's you that's starting to realize the true colors or your person, whoever this is talking about, somebody's realizing the true colors of other people. Lies are being uncovered, okay? They're coming to the surface. It says, do you want to feel stuck or do you want to feel free? A choice is needed to be made here. You have clouded judgment. That's why you want, they want you to take some time and go meditate. You're going to be the richest person in your family. Rich doesn't have to do with money. It can be, but it's saying, you know, rich is about, like, having a lot of things, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of love, a lot of family, a lot of connections, happiness. This was really a blessing, not a curse. Celebrate all milestones, even the little stuff. You might be dealing with lawyers or the law might be involved, okay? If you guys are dealing with the law, um, we can find out what's going on with that. You have building stronger boundaries. You guys are putting your foot down. So what's this law thing? Like a little tiny, go away. Oh my God, the justice card and the five of cups. Definitely law. I don't know if your person or the third party is starting some shit. Whoever's dealing with the law, right, um, is really nervous. So how is this going to go? I've seen the tower card. This is about clarity and truth. Um, whatever happens is going to set you right, okay, or set this person on the right path, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles, they're going to learn from this, they're going to grow from this, um, they're going to make wiser choices, um, right, do better things for themselves with the Five of Cups, this might be like maybe you have some fines to pay or this person has some fines to pay here, definitely paying attention to all the shit that's not working out but not realizing that you still have some good things coming or some good things that are still in your life, this might not be you, might be your person, but if it is you dealing with the law, just know that things, this is a lesson to be learned, hmm, all right, give me a minute, on the TV my phone. so wheel of fortune this is about karma if you've done good right with this legal situation you got good things coming in for you if you've done bad you might have to uh pay some fines or have to face some type of consequences um take it how it resonates for you but your spirit your loved ones are on your side trying to help you through this they're trying to um you know lesson learn type thing you know they're trying to help you through this. They don't want you to stay stuck or keep yourself in a negative mindset or stay stuck for too long. Yeah, you have the magician and the ace of cups. They want you to manifest what it is that you want out of life. Manifest a good begin a new beginning for yourself. Manifest more love for yourself. You know, <clears throat> stay in high vibration. Whatever you do, as above, so below, whatever you do. The energy that you're putting off is going to come back to you. So make sure the energy that you're putting out and all the things that you're doing, okay, is all with love, all from your heart, you know, doing things, not expecting nothing back, okay, with the Two of Pentacles. There might be some patterns here that are uh, being moved on from, okay? So you guys are moving forward, not really looking back anymore. <laughs> when I said not looking back, you got the Seven of Swords. This could be something, some sneaky stuff, some lies, de deceit. Um, if it isn't law, this could be just something that's just a person who thinks that they're, they know a person that's making up a whole bunch of bullshit, but I feel like this person's really good at lying. So, uh, with the seven of pentacles though, Mom, let's clarify. Remember how I keep on saying the truth is going to surface. The truth is going to come out. Look, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords. Whatever is being hidden is going to be coming to the light, okay? And you're going to grow from this. You're going to learn from this. You're going to be able to move on, okay? I feel like you could see a clearer road here. You got the Hierophant, too. I feel like Spirit, your angels, your past loved ones, they're all working together to try to bring this uh, to you to help you open up your eyes here. 
You have seven of cups. You got three seven, 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 seven. You guys are about to enter a lucky period of time, and that's because spirit, wow, look what I'm talking about. The Ace of Pentacles this is the luckiest card out of the deck. This is your ancestors, spirit, your past loved ones, all working together to help you move forward with this new beginning. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, right? Seven, 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 Ace of Swords. The only one that you don't have is the Ace of Wands. That's like the energy and the passion. Maybe you guys are lacking that. Maybe you guys are so worried about this devil energy that's like looming over you, but you guys have to put that aside. Ignore that. Don't get that any energy. Move away from that. Focus on the good, okay? Not the bad. Let's pull some from the fuck it deck. Sorry if your past loved ones don't curse. Yeah, it sounds like a fucking nightmare. Good luck. So they're saying if you're trying to go back to something that you know it isn't right for you, um, good luck with that. Like, don't go back to the things that you know that you can't trust. Don't go back to the ones that you know that, you know, are not going to do for you. Stand, put some stronger boundaries in place. Um... It says, I'm alerting, go have a bowel movement. The problem will solve itself. It's like, go take a break, okay? The universe is working on this, okay? And it said, oh, look, the trash just took itself out. So it's like, don't worry. These fake people, their true colors are showing. It says, a kind motherfucker will help you. So somebody's coming in to help you too as well, along with your ancestors, your spirit guides, your past loved ones. You have Gemini, okay? There's communication coming in for you. And it says, as above, so below. I just literally just said this. Whatever you guys are putting into, uh, it says, spiritual realm can be affected by what you do here in the physical world. So whatever you're doing here now, make sure that it's good and with good intentions. That way, you, you know, you're building this for your future. Uh, whatever you're putting out, you're going to get back. You have Libra, balancing the scales, okay? So, and then guidance, be the light. I feel like you guys are being called to help other people. And then you have, my family wants us together. This could be that lover that's coming in. Their family wants them to be with you. Investing everything into this. They're going to invest all their love into the situation, into this connection. Very close to reaching your goals. So whatever it is that you guys are working on, you're very close to reaching them. You have major windfalls. You might have a lot of money coming in or a lot of opportunities coming in for you. You have upgrades in career, job, and business. See what I'm talking about? So... And you guys might be self-employed and mastering your craft. And you have somebody who's lying to your face. You guys really need to pay attention to that. But anyway, that's, or maybe you already know. But anyway, your spirit, your past uh, loved ones are helping you through this. And yeah, I know my mind gets jumbled sometimes. I have so much to say and I hear so many things that are going on in my mind that I can't keep up with it all. But you have jealous of your success. So because you're doing good, you might have a lot of people who are talking shit, right? So don't feed them any energy. Ignore those fuckers and just move on. And I hope this resonates. If it does, please like and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good night. Toodles.